Hey guys, so the Ulefon Power Armor 14 has been officially revealed and it's one of the coolest rugged phones I've seen. I'm talking about its design guys. It's one of the things Ulefon's good at. They know how to make rugged phones look stylish and they use some of the best materials for the design. Anyway, Ulefon uploaded a teaser of the Power Armor 14 a few days ago and some key specs of the phone was leaked, which made lots of fans believe that the Power Armor 14 might not be as great as the Power Armor 13. Now it's been officially confirmed because the specs of the Power Armor 14 has been disclosed. While they may not be as great as the Power Armor 13, the specs are still very nice. We'll be talking about the specs of the Power Armor 14 in this video, but before we move on, I would like you guys to know that we are almost at 7,000 subscribers. So make sure to support the channel by subscribing. It's absolutely free to subscribe. Anyway, let's move on. As I mentioned earlier, the Udephone Power Armor 14 has a really cool design. The body is a combination of different materials. The corners are covered with industrial rubber. The materials used at the back appears to be a combination of metal and rubber. Don't take my word seriously guys, I'm only speculating, I might be very wrong. The phone has a 6.52 inch display, it hasn't been disclosed if it's gonna be an HD plus or a full HD plus display. It is powered by the Helio G35 chip which is the same chip that powers the Geony P15 Pro. The phone has 4GB RAM and 64GB storage, it has a triple camera setup with a 20 megapixel main camera. It has a 16 megapixel selfie camera and yes, the phone has a really big battery. It has a 10,000 mAh battery. It's very big but not as big as the Ulefone Power Armor 13. We all know that the Power Armor 13 has an insane battery guys. It has a 13,200 mAh battery so it's about 3,000 mAh higher than the Ulefone Power Armor 14. The phone supports 15 watts wireless charging and it has an 18 watts fast charger. The phone is also rated IP68 and IP69K, which is very, very nice. The price of the phone and its launch date are not disclosed yet, but the phone is expected to be priced at around $250 to $300 and it's expected to be released next month. However, it might be available online for sale before next month. Anyway, I would like you guys to share your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think of the Ulefone Power Armor 14? What do you think of its specs? Why do you think Ulefone decided to make the Power Armor 14 a downgrade? You can share your opinion in the comment section below, okay? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we are almost at 7,000 subscribers, so make sure to help support the channel by subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.